this out. Yeah. Oh. Boom. Dream team. Woo! How awesome has today been? Listen, five things I want you to write down. This is your opportunity to write this down. First thing I want you to write down is this. You got to make a decision what this is for you. You got to make a decision what WFG is for you. And I can see it. Some of you in the room, man, you know what this is. You've decided what this is. You've been doing it four, five, six months. And you've been doing it in a way where you know what this is going to do for you and your family. But there's always people that just still seem lost. They're dabbling in the opportunity. They're hot, they're cold. They're hot, they're cold. They're here. They're watching, but they're not really in it. They're thinking about their career, their job, their, their real estate business, their, their, their other things, their heads, in the, their heads somewhere else. You gotta decide, like, what is this gonna be for you when you get home on Monday? What is this gonna be? You gotta make that decision now so that the rest of the conference is just gonna, it's just gonna validate that feeling. The second thing I want you to write down is this. Maybe it's time to lean in. Lean in. There's nothing wrong with healthy obsession. See, we've been conditioned lately where, by society that obsession's bad. And obsession is, oh, you can't be obsessed with something. It's so bad. Give me a break. I'm going to give you permission to lean in and, and, and pull out the animal in you. I know there's an animal in you. But it's time to let it out a little bit. It's time to let that eye, the tiger out. You know the one that you had when you were younger and you were competing at something? When you were at your best? Think back to a time in your life when you were at your best. When you're at the top of your game. When you're on fire. Maybe it was sports. Maybe it was your relationship. Maybe it was your physique. There was a time in your life where you felt like you were unstoppable. I want you to lean into that. I want you to pull that out of you. The third thing is write this down. I want you to compete to be the best. I want you to compete to be the best. And when I say the best, I mean your best. I want you to become your best. The best you've ever been. The most confident you've ever been. The most fired up you've ever been. You don't have to be me. You don't have to be a Melissa Sleds. You just have to be you. You gotta be the best version of you. Don't worry about being number one overall next year, but if you, be, if you come back here, the best version of you, man, I'll high five that. I'll high five that. You know what's crazy? You put three, four years in a row back to back, the best version of you, you probably will come back here number one. Because the biggest struggle we have is within ourselves. We beat ourselves up. We're our worst nightmare. The fourth thing I want you to write down is this. Sell it big. Sell it big. Don't sell it small. This is not just a $500 a month part-time opportunity. See, how you're selling the dream is what you're attracting. If you're selling a small, you're attracting small. If you're thinking small, you're getting small. Your business and your momentum in your life is a direct reflection of your thinking. If you can think bigger by selling it bigger, you're going to get bigger things. You're going to get a bigger life. You're going to get more income, more confidence. But if you sell it small, you're going to get really busy in that other thing that you're doing. Man, I'm just so busy, I just can't even get a license, really. How's life been going for you right now? How are you really doing? How are you really doing? See, I think for most of us in this room, we can't afford to take this for granted. We can't afford to sell it small. And the last thing is this, and I'll leave you with this thought. <laughs> Write this down. Remind yourself that you deserve it. Remind yourself that you deserve it. See, I don't know all of you, but I know something about all of you. You've all been through some shit in your life. You've all been to rock bottom. Some of you are at rock bottom right now. But you've all been there. You've all tasted it. You've all felt it. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be around good people. 
It's time to stop punishing yourself. It's time to start leaning in. But let me ask you this as, I, as I, my final thought. Where else are you going to go where you're going to get this kind of environment and this kind of support and this kind of real life friendship and mentorship? You got to stop looking at this business like it's some insurance deal and wondering if you're actually passionate about insurance. You got to start looking at it as some life deal and ask yourself, how passionate are you about your life? Because the people that are passionate about their life, man, they see it. They get it. This is a life business. This is an environment business. This is a people business. I saw a grown man, Dennis, get up here. Dennis Collant, get up here. Emotional on stage. Grown man. Grown man cry in front of 500 people. That's what we are. That's what this business does. So I want to challenge you to remind yourself tonight, take a quiet moment before gala, look yourself in the mirror and go, damn it, I deserve this. And is that deserve to win for me and my family? I appreciate you guys. Let's have an awesome night. We'll see you, gal. Let's go.